guys you know, were fighting back all game. Why was it so hard to get over the hump tonight? Uh, they were just, you know, they were playing hard. So, um, and they were executing well. They were moving the ball. Uh, they were playing well defensively. Uh, that's pretty much it. Just 10 shots for you tonight. That's fairly low for you. you know, what would you attribute that to? Uh, you know, as a, I didn't, I didn't feel like the shot I had, uh, the moments of the moments in the game that uh, they were quality shots, so I didn't took them. Of course, um, you know, in game six I gotta come out be more aggressive, but uh, I was still trying to make plays, try to make put my team into the right spot. Um, I was just trying to be aggressive overall. Yeah, as far as those shots go, is that more on you to be assertive, or is that more on? guys to find you early and get you more into a rhythm? No, it's, it's, it's on me. Um, as I said, like, I had open shots, but there, there wasn't my shots, so I didn't feel like comfortable to take them. Uh, I think my teammate did a great job in finding me, but uh, coming up the next game, in game six, I got to be more aggressive, make more plays, uh, because definitely my teammates need me. What will it take to make sure that the Celtics don't Close out the series on your home court. Uh, you know we've been we've been here we've been here before uh, last year against Toronto. Uh, we went back home in Game Six. Um, we just gotta play hard, be disciplined, move the ball, rebound the ball, and you know we play we play home. Uh, we gotta bring that energy, make shots, and uh, hopefully get them in. Yeah, how do you assess the job the semi usually the defensively? I'm not going to take anything away from any player. Uh, I could easily say uh, it was on me. No, I didn't feel like it wasn't just Samuel Ojale. It was everybody guarding me. But he did a great job. He played hard. He competed for his team. And uh, hopefully he can do the same thing in game six. Giannis, did you get an explanation as far as that 24 second call on, uh, that wasn't called on Horford? Oh yeah, the ball, the ball got to go. The ball got to go in, or it's got to be air ball shot. To uh, for the uh, referee to review the shot. Uh, the ball did not went in. They got the offensive rebound, so we couldn't we couldn't review the play. Um, you know that's the that's the rules of the game, and uh, we just got to play through that. Yeah. What did you think the impact was of Marcus Smart returning? Marcus Smart, he played hard. I definitely give the, that edge to the team. Uh, defensively and offensively, uh, he definitely helped them a lot. If you guys aren't locked in on it, can he be an X factor returning back to your court? Uh, yeah, he can definitely be an X factor for the Celtics. But as I say, we got a extra game plan, and uh, by we doing that, we're going we're going to win the game. You sat for about six and a half minutes straight in the first half, and you played the whole second half. Was that the expectation of the plan coming in, and how do you think that affected you uh, going down the stretch? Oh, he, he did not affect me. Um, I talked a little bit with coach. Coach told me that he's going to keep me in. So I was, uh, I've done that in the past, and I was uh, pretty cool with that. You're still a young player. Yeah. Are you learning a lot from the series, step by step along the way? Oh, yeah, I'm learning every day. That's that's what it's all about. You know, get better every day. Um, help your team win. Um, yeah, I'm learning. Like even after a game like this, are you are you learning how to regulate yourself, not let yourself get too high, too low? You can never get too high and too low. You know, gotta always keep your composure, stay focused. Um, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come out the game six and uh, try to win. That's and you only it. learn that the hard way, right? You only learn it by doing that. No of one course. can tell you how. Of course. Thank God I got great teammates around me that helped me with that, and great coaches too. Guys, I know he's been doing it all year, but what kind of sec uh, security blanket is it for you guys to have Chris to lean on when you're not finding your rhythm or when guys just aren't, aren't hitting their shots uh, the way they usually are? Oh, uh, you know, Chris is playing great, and it's great having a guy next to you that plays that well in this series. And, uh, you know, if I'm not going, if uh, Bledsoe is not get, getting his rhythm, we we'll always have Chris. You know, Chris is going to keep making plays, and uh, hopefully... You know, guys from the bench and other guys can step up too, but you always know we got a lot of options. Offensive and JP, as you guys saw tonight, and the uh, boys came in, step up too. So guys are doing a great job. I'm playing hard. Do you have to manage your, your energy output a little bit differently when you know you're going to be playing as many minutes as you did in the second half? No, I just try to go as hard as I can for as long as I can.
Thanks, Janice. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys.